Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my travelog series. This time, let's head to Singapore for a chillax trip doing nothing in particular but to wander and to just eat whatever I fancy. First things first, let's go to Hai Thi Lao at Plaza Singapura, one of the older malls in Singapore. It's 2.30 in the afternoon, which is perfect because there is no queue. Look at the menu, all on an iPad. This makes ordering so convenient. Pick your soup base, get all the ingredients you need, and you're good to go. You can make your own sauce, use your creativity and imagination, but if you don't want to, there's even a piece of paper stuck on the wall to advise you on how to make an assortment of sauces you may fancy. So I made myself the signature Hai Di Lao sauce, but man, look at the portion. I'd say that is good for two to three people. I'd say my favorite is the tomato based soup. The seafood soup is bland. The malak soup is good, but the spicy aftertaste agitates my throat, kind of making me want to cough. Otherwise, this is just your typical hot pot meal. Ingredients are fresh, ambience is clean and good. The highlight though of Haiti Lao is the service. You pretty much get butlers who will attend to your every whimsical needs. They ensure that you always have drinks and topping up the soup more regularly than you would care to ask. Need a pin to detach your SIM card slot? No props, he says. I don't have one, but you can try using my name tag pin. Quite creative, I must say. My friend even has the cheeks to ask for prawn peeling service. Have a look. He did it. Maybe we'll order crabs next time. Order their noodles and they'll even make the noodles in front of you. They'll perform stunts in front of you with music optionally. Throwing the noodle randomly at your faces. I half imagine. What would happen if he accidentally hits someone's face with the noodles? Overall, it is a very good experience. Queue is usually quite long but fret not because they'll provide you with snakes and some games for your entertainment. Ladies, you can even have your nails done while waiting. I'd rate this a 9 out of 10 simply for the awesome experience the good ambience and overall good food. All in all, we spent about 200 Singapore dollars for uh, four packs. Will I come back? Definitely. Let's head for durians now. Oh yeah, durian is in season, so we're at Aljunit now for durians. We're trying the red prawn and musang king species of durian, but I must say, Musang King is still the best. It's still my preferred durian to go. We are at Albert Center at Boogie Street for breakfast. This is one of the many hawker centers you can find around Singapore. I'm having the popular Yong Tao Hu. The queue is averagely long but is constantly moving. It never gets shorter because there are always people coming. The Yong Tahu by Singapore standards is pretty good. The broth is tasty but slightly on the sweeter side. I would prefer a bit more saltiness to complement the sweetness of the soup. The Bihun used is of a smaller version and it is al dente with a firm bite to it. The assortment of fried bean curd, the tofus, the pork, they all complement each other well. We are walking around the area after breakfast. There is this place called the Bankulan. This is where I go to buy cheap Casio watches. They are sold cheaper than you would normally get from the malls. 
There is also the famous Bugis Street where people go for souvenirs. You can try haggling there, but be warned though that there are shops that do not welcome haggling. Next, let's go to Funan, but before that, it's time for some brown sugar fresh milk from Tiger Sugar. I like the fact that it isn't too sweet. Quick question, can I even order this beverage without the bubbles? Anyway, you're supposed to shake this well, pop the straw, and drink. Alright, done with that, up. Next, let's go to Funan. Now Funan used to be a digital mall. You can pretty much get all your IT stuff here, but today, it has changed to a lifestyle mall. You can now find a Taobao store here. You can even use cryptocurrency to pay for your food at the food court. Interesting. Then I saw this. Ebi Burger? That is new to me. Let's go and grab one. Biting into it, the prawn taste starts to overwhelm my taste buds, but the sauce is very quick to neutralize it. All in all, the crispy prawn patty with black sesame burger makes for a very good burger. Makes me wonder, why the heck do we not get this in Malaysia? Or did we? I'm now at Paya Lebar for Jollibee. I've heard so much about them, but I've never tried them before. I heard the spaghetti is nice, but as a first timer, I want to try the fried chicken. My verdict is that I quite like the fried chicken. The seasoning is different than that you would get from KFC and the likes. It is quite similar to the broasted chicken we get in my hometown. But what makes it particularly special is the dip, I'd say. Which I presume is mushroom sauce. The mashed potato is good with a very robust flavoring to it that complements the otherwise bland potato. I'm at the Orchard Road. This stretch of road is filled with shopping heavens. You have the likes of Ion Orchard, Nian City, Paragon Shopping Center, Orchard Gateway, and many more. And while here, let's have this simple yet delightful ice cream with bread. Chocolate, though, is my favorite go-to. Take the train all the way to Harbourfront and you will get to this shopping mall called Vivo City. I've always had an affinity with this mall. Perhaps it's because of the fact that it is located right by the Harbourfront and that the shops are more mainstream. When you're tired of shopping, go to one of the many restaurants for food or head to the rooftop for food at the food court. You can even take a leisure stroll if you want to. Tonight, they have some colorful display going on. Lots of lights everywhere. Let's have some more fried chicken. This time from Arnold's fried chicken. My friend spoke very highly of them, so I really have to try them out. I'm here a little late and they're closing so I have them pack the food and I'll have this at a kopitiam instead I must say I like Arnold's fried chicken better than Jollibee that is not to say that Jollibee is bad by any standards but 
Arnold's fried chicken just tastes better to me. Nonetheless, both of these are in my list of fried chickens to go for. Lastly, before heading home, head over to Jewels, a shopping mall located right at the heart of Changi Airport. It is accessible from the airport terminals with the exception of Terminal 4. It really is just another shopping mall. What is interesting about it though is the idea of having a shopping mall right by the airport. As it is, Changi is already one of the best airports in the world. This makes it even better. You will pretty much never be short of anything to do at Changi. It even has an Apple store in the mall. Catch a movie in an IMAX theater if you fancy and shop till you drop. If you're in for a little nature, check out the man-made forest in the middle of the mall. This is so unique and nice at the same time. I'd say this is the specialty of the mall. That humongous waterfall feature is a sight to behold. Makes you feel like just taking a dip in there, but don't. That isn't a really good idea. It's time to head home. It's a long walk. As you can see, there are no travelators to the gate, so I better get going. Till then, I'll see you again, Singapore. Bye.